Hello, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle with a screencast on the cheapest to deliver bond in a treasury bond futures contract. In the last screencast, I reviewed the idea of the conversion factor, which to remind, the conversion factor is generated by the Chicago Board of Trade, and its role is to make the short position almost indifferent as to which bond it delivers, he or she delivers, among several eligible government bonds. So at the time of settlement, that short has many different bonds that are eligible for delivery. That's made possible by way of the conversion factor. And we said the short is almost indifferent. We said, we did not say the short was perfectly indifferent. And that, and that enters the idea of the cheapest to deliver bond. And the idea is that the short position here, being self-interested, wants to maximize his or her profit. And so here in red is the cost of acquiring the eligible bond for delivery in the futures contract. That cost is going to be the quoted price on the bond plus any accrued interest. And then in green, the short position is going to receive these proceeds on that bond for delivery the settlement price of the contract multiplied by that conversion factor that standard puts all these bonds on an almost level playing field plus any accrued interest so here in green is what the short is going to receive from the long here in red is the cost of acquiring the bond for delivery and so naturally the short wants to maximize his or her profit and therefore the short wants to maximize the difference between the proceeds that are received and the cost of acquiring the bond or to use John Hull's language minimize the difference between the cost minus the proceeds so really it's just a maximize of the cost benefit equation and I'll use John Hull's actual example here from my FRM candidate customers here we've got what the short receives here we've got the cost of acquiring the eligible bond for delivery. And that's the dirty price because it's the dirty price is equal to the clean price plus any accrued interest. And we notice that the accrued interest nets out and the cheapest to deliver bond is the bond that minimizes this difference here, the difference between the cost to acquire the bond minus the proceeds received by delivering the bond. And the specific example is, let's say the Treasury bond futures contract has a settlement price of $93.25. Recall that's on a $100,000 face value. And then the short has the following three bonds that are eligible for delivery with different prices and this would be a no-brainer except that the conversion factor makes this choice more interesting and more difficult and by the way these conversion factors are all greater than one what does that tell us that tells us that the coupons on all of these bonds are greater than six percent because recall it's that six percent yield assumption that is used to produce the conversion factor and so now this cheapest to deliver cost function is simply a matter of computing this difference right here. If I say it's equal to the quoted bond price minus the settlement price multiplied by the conversion factor then I've got the net cost to the short for delivering this first bond and here's the net cost for the second bond and for the third bond and the cheapest to deliver bond is this bond right here because it gives the smallest difference between the cost of acquiring uh, the cost of acquiring the bond and the proceeds received by delivering it and similarly we could do this the other way we could say if we wanted to look at this from a benefit standpoint it might be more intuitive in my opinion the cheapest to deliver wants to, the short position wants to minimize the benefit which is to say the difference between what is received by delivering the bond which is the settlement price 
multiplied by the conversion factor minus the cost to acquire that bond, which is its quoted price right there. And then we've got a negative profit on that transaction. And if I copy down from a benefit perspective, the, ch the short position wants to maximize the profit, which is the highest value here. And it's, it's just uh, the same, we get the same result. In this case, the highest value is of negative $1.87 is produced by the second bond. So that's the idea of the cheapest to deliver bond in the Treasury Bond Futures contract. This is David Harper, The Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.